how would you describe the way in which these ideas are indeed radical? Well, I think the way to to think about it is Galt talks uh, about in in Atlas Shrugged about naming the way that people are living in those moments when they are living, uh, naming what people live by. And that's how one of the people he recruits to his cause describes what he did. He, he just named what I'd always lived by. Mm -hmm. And it's not true that everybody always lives by uh, what Galt uh, preaches, what Ayn Rand uh, recommends, but it is what people live by to the extent that they're really living to the extent that they're good, to the extent that they're accomplishing something in life, and to the extent that they have real values, things that they care about and love, and, and that their life's about those things. So I think um, in that sense, it's appealing to content that people already have, that people already know is good, that people already you know, can evaluate positively, and that the world has been um, there's always been some of that in how people lived, otherwise people wouldn't have survived. And there's more and more of it, at least in certain segments of the world. We, uh, if you, you know, go on a century scale, uh, modern America is a fantastic place to live. There are lots of people pursuing their values. There's um, Silicon Valley and the whole Silicon Valley mindset. There's uh, you know, more and more people uh, feeling empowered and thinking that they should be. So in that sense, um, there's something in all human beings and especially in m modern American and more broadly Western culture that we're picking up on or Ayn Rand is picking up on. And I think we have to acknowledge that and own that and, and direct people towards that. Uh, on the other hand, those things have not been and have certainly not been consistently identified as what's morally good. And insofar as there have been explicit codes of what's morally good, they've... Um, had little bits of that positive content in them, but the integrating principle for them has always been something that's um, antithetical to the uh, to life on Earth, and antithetical to an individual's life on Earth and happiness. So whether it's God, some you know magic person who's supposed to tell you what to do and who to sacrifice to, or whether it's the society, or whether it's you know in the more technical realms, Kantian ethics or environmental ethics, it's always about sacrificing yourself uh, to some set of duties of one sort or another. And we're very radical in rejecting that, or Rand was, and I am, and you, uh, and in seeing how deeply that mindset has infected moral thinking, even in cases where it's not obviously about that, and how deeply it's infected the way that people talk about and think about both what's good and what's good for them.